Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be giving you a tour of the guinea pigs shed and aviary. The guinea pigs live in a 10 by 8 foot shed from Atkinson's Fencing and it's the log lap shed. So it's insulated and it has been adapted to suit our guinea pigs. We asked for additional features so it was quite expensive but I feel like it was a really good investment because it's been really really good. It's really good quality and we're really impressed with it. Um, so it's a great shed and then we have the Avery which my parents built which is about three meters by two meters I think um, I'm just guessing there I don't really know but just the rough dimensions so I'm going to start off by showing you a tour of the shed so you can make it into like stable doors um, for when it's warmer and they can have the full mesh door because this locks so when it's really hot in summer it's really good So I'm just going to start from the left hand side and here is like the medical sort of section, sort of like healthcare section, that's what I meant to say. Um, so we have got light in here which has been extremely useful. Um, <laughs> it's just like been so so good. Um, I'm definitely glad we got that. And we have got electricity so I can have my guinea pigs webcam in here or whatever else I need. Sometimes I put a dehumidifier in here in case, you know, it's getting quite damp. Uh, it just really helps to get rid of that. So then over here we have this IKEA holder thing which has got these pots on it. So we've got brushes, um, nail clippers, hairdressing scissors, all sorts in there. And then I just have some whiteboard pens some willow sticks and just random bits and bobs they're just useful to like you know chuck anything in like just little things that don't go anywhere else we've just got a few hooks and here is their baby scales which i got from amazon this is really good for weighing them on uh, it's also really good for the rabbits so yeah i do really like that we've got their logitech circle webcam which i've managed to just get working again then this is another thing from Ikea, another unit. I think it's meant to go in like, your kitchen, but it's been really good. Um, useful for storing things on, and just a really handy bit of kit. Um, then on the right hand side we have a big bale of straw, a little bag with some hay in it. And then this is the whiteboard where I record like the weights and stuff. And then I write it down in my diary, so yeah, it's just like where I write it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but... There we go. Now moving on to the more exciting area. So, okay, um, we actually got this with the shed, this partition you can see here. And you can see I can slot it in different parts because um, they added these bits of wood which allows me to move the partition. If I want to make the cage smaller, I can. Um, this is as big as it'll come or I can take it out altogether and give them the whole shed. But I feel it's good to be able to walk into the shed and not have guinea pigs around your feet. Um, and also have somewhere to like wipe your feet as well. Um, so let's start off over here. We've got a CNC grid shelf, and I'm actually going to go in and show you because it's not very good to show you on here. But um, I just need to change my shoes because I don't like to make the fleece dirty. Oh, yeah, we've also got some fairy lights which go all the way up here, they look quite nice. So, this, <laughs> all the guinea pigs are there. Um, this shelf is a CNC grid shelf which I just made myself, um, it's really easy to do and I just did it with some leftover CNC grids then draped this blanket over the top of it. They don't come up here much to be honest but I'm thinking of making or putting something interesting up here for them you know, to have a purpose to come upstairs because <laughs> guinea pigs need a purpose to do everything they do so yeah I could put food up here or something. And it's just lined with lino, so it's safe for them to walk on, as you can see. And then they have this homemade ramp, so it's just a bit of wood, like a long strip of wood. And I just put this garden border edging on it, and it's got really good grip on it. Um, and this is just secured on there. So then we've got a bendy log sticks bridge. These are always really useful, really versatile. Um, a wooden log and I recently just put this in and I can't actually remember what it's for I think it's for like use in the kitchen but um, it's a really good sort of herb rack I don't know I don't think that's really a word but it's what I put all their dried forage in 
as you can see. So that's really good. Um, it allows them to work for their food a bit more and it's just really good enrichment. <laughs> so you can see Bromley hoovering all the herbs up now. And pandas there as well. So I've got some, um, I think these are willow sticks from Pets at Home. Oh no, were they? Where were they from? They're from the range, I think. Um, some pine cones. Hello. <laughs> Aww. Then they've got a teepee here, which used to be the rabbits, but the rabbits just used to use it as a litter tray, so I had to take it out. Um, and I put this absorbent um, bath mat thing here, so if they do wean it, then it won't ruin the teepee. Okay, so then over here we have a Trixie wooden shelf, and then they've got this chew thing, which you can hide like veg in and you know bit of an enrichment toy then these are really common to find I'm sure most guinea pig owners have these uh, I think they're made from vegetable starch so they love to chew on that as you can see they've chewed on that um, I also have a stool just in case I want to come in here and watch them or I also use it for like you know nail clipping and stuff it's just useful to have somewhere um, to sit and watch them then finally in this area I've got this tunnel which was the rabbits but I figured they had so many tunnels anyway that I would give one to the guinea pigs. Their fleece is from um is it B and M bargains I think and it's really really cheap. You get loads of different colours and I really love it. And I've just got some towels underneath here to sort of catch the urine if they pee on it. Um so the fleece works really well in here. I actually prefer the blue colour but we don't have enough, so I've switched to pink um, or purple, I think it is. Um, so then over in this area, this corner here, we've got, um, this is just where I put all their rubbish basically. All the mess that, you know, I have to take out every day. And then here's a little toy box where I just store everything. So yeah, not much interesting in there. And there's some CNC grids to stop them going down there because I don't really want them finding their way down the back of the hutch. Aww. <laughs> so that is the whole of the indoor area. Now they also got this hutch which is about 190 by 70 centimetres. I think that seems to ring a bell. <laughs> so we got this custom built from Atkinson's Fencing, the same people who we got the shed from. And we said we wanted it to be like one of them garden storage boxes but suitable for guinea pigs. Um, it's been really, really good. I like how it's got a lift up lid and not one of the ones where you open at the side, if that makes sense. Um, there is two doors, but I blocked this one off because they tend to drag a lot of straw out, so it just makes more sense. I think all the guinea pigs are in here right now. Yeah. There they are. So Bramley, Oreo, Miffy, Roxy. <laughs> Ruby's right under there. Hi. <laughs> oh, hello. So this hutch is very, very useful. It's insulated, um, so you know it's really, really good. And they definitely need this for the cold season. So yeah, they've also got this flower hanging basket as a hay rack. That's Ruby, by the way. Um, and then this wooden house over there. And I generally fill it up with straw overnight to keep them nice and cosy. I don't think you've seen Hazel yet. I might just lift the hay rack up. There we go, Hazel's there. <laughs> so the guinea pigs tend to get along really well and they'll sleep together in here and cuddle up at night to keep warm. So that's really nice. And it's good to really creaky that hutch. <laughs> I'll just move that. <laughs> they seem to be really enjoying this. So I've also got a bob hole here so I can close this off overnight or if it's a really horrible day then I can just close it off if I don't want them going outside um, so yeah we asked for that when we 
you know, got the shed custom built. And then we've got this window here, extra ventilation, um, it's just good for that. And this is the outdoor area, I'm actually going to go out and show you. Probably going to take some pea flakes with me, see if I can get the guinea pigs to come out. So I have to swap shoes again. So I actually have to go in through the rabbit's aviary to get to the guinea pig's aviary but the rabbits are shut in at the minute because they do try and get in the guinea pig's aviary when I open the door. So yeah, we have this um, one access point on the front. So I'm just gonna do, oh, Bramley, hello. Gonna come out, hi. <laughs> Hazel. Oh, none of the others are coming out. Oh, Miffy. Hello. Come on, guys. <laughs> They'll probably all come running out soon. Um, here you go, guys. Oh. There you go, little one. Cute, aren't they sweet? Aww. So yeah, um, I just wanted to show you around. So they have a bit of trellis here, so it's more of like a hidey area when they come out. They feel quite nervous when they come out, so it's good to sort of make them feel like they've got something covering them. See our prey animals, they would get quite nervous in an exposed area like this, but you have to have loads of different hidey things, you know, just so they feel more secure. We have a lot of these tricksy shelves, these little hidey houses, and I think this is from Trixie. Oh no, it's from Buddy Business. This hutch here, and um, the lid lifts off so you can clean it. <laughs> They're all following me now, and I have these like little bits of decking so I can get anywhere I want to without ruining the bedding, making it all soggy and like muddy. Um, we've got loads of wooden logs as well from a tree we had cut down and they don't climb these but I think it looks nice and like rustic um, and another wooden log which um, the person who gets our wood for our stove they found this for us because you know we have rabbits and guinea pigs so that was really kind of them I've got quite a lot of the bendy bridges just laid out flat as you can see these are good so I can like walk around again without stepping on the bedding and there's loads of pine cones down here a little stone house thing another Trixie hut I've got loads of rocks over there pieces of cork which are excellent I love my cork and I can leave it out as well which is why I love getting cork pieces um, they just <laughs> work so well it's like one of my favourite enrichment things for any small animals so yeah they're great then we've got these little glow in the dark um, toadstool things so I don't think they actually work but they look cute a willow basket more wooden logs a tunnel right down there and let's see oh yeah I've also got all of these which I collected because um, this got cut down and um, they all landed in our garden so I thought it would look really cool in here they're not actually edible I don't think but they're out of their way they can't actually get to them it just makes it look so nice and natural as you can see um, so yeah I'm gonna see if I can get the guinea pigs out again <laughs> if he's still there Everyone's coming out now, that's cute. Yeah, my camera's got like one minute remaining, so if the video just suddenly ends, I do apologise. Oh, but at least we'll have a really cute clip to end the video with. Oh, hello. Who's missing? I think Roxy's missing. Oh, well. <laughs> this is so adorable. 
hope you enjoyed the tour let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this me just like doing no editing just filming what's going on because it's quite fun so yeah i will see you guys in the next video we'll just end with this adorable clip of the guinea pigs <laughs> oh aren't they gorgeous <laughs>